Hi Taurus, welcome back, welcome back. Um, welcome to your scheduled Saturday morning uh, videos. Okay, so let's see what's going on. What's the situation for my beautiful Taurus? We're reading approximately last week of February going into the first week of March. Time and energy is fluid. As it resonates, guys, you know how it goes. All right, what, what's happening? We're doing something casual. We're having fun here. Are we having a fling? Can I have one more? This is something about exciting, something fun, but not serious. Flaky, I gotta say. What? What? The car just flew on the floor and disappeared. I'm pausing you for one second to go find it. Okay, I was under my chair. <laughs> Here you are. Guys, somebody keeps texting you for a, a reconciliation. Maybe you're doing it also. But the problem why this is so flaky in nature is because of the Six of Pentacles, which is talking about breadcrumbing someone. You know, it's like begging for attention, begging to be noticed or acknowledged here. So it's like you're getting breadcrumbs. It's like these two cards actually go hand in hand. Yeah, I hate that I'm going to say, you know, third party situation. Some of you, if it's not third party situation, this is the reconciliation card. This is third party. This is um, good news, celebration. Uh, if you're single, this is just you dating. And if those of you that are just dating, it's casual. There's not much coming out of it. And I'll tell you why there isn't much coming out of this. It's because somebody here, whether it's you or them, this person's emotionally guarded. They're very, very vulnerable. So when someone has a lot of barriers and borders up, no one's getting through. You hear me say this all the time, guys. There's one thing to show people where the door is, and then there's a whole other when you slam it shut. No one's going to get through. There's boundaries, and then there's walls. So someone here is putting up a huge wall, and this is why it's flaky at best. Uh, there's no bonding. There's no allowance to connect here with someone, all right? It's it's kind of immature at best with this page of cups down here. This is the situation I'm seeing. Let's see what's coming in towards you guys. What's coming in towards my beautiful Taurus? King of Wands. This is incoming energy, um, male or female. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It does not have to be that particular sign. It's just representative energetically of somebody who is good looking, very attractive, charismatic, um, extremely passionate, a lot of chemistry. There is definitely a deep connection here because there's something fiery about this person. There's a lot of action and communication going back and forth here with somebody and it's like you're reminiscing over the past. Or at least you will be because it's in the future position. Wow, look at this. The king and queen of fire, passion, romance, sex, attraction. What the, what doesn't uh, Aries, oh my God, Taurus, I just did Aries, but maybe you're also dealing with one. What doesn't Taurus see coming? Or because I'm looking at the King of Wands, which is Aries Leo Sag. And then there's you, the Empress, coming out here. It's like you guys are waiting for somebody to acknowledge your worth and your value. All the way from seeing the Six of Pentacles to the Empress here, and then the High Priestess. This is the No Talky card. This is the, like keeping it quiet, keeping it silent. You're keeping it silent because you're like, what is there to be said if this person doesn't get it? I'm just going to be beating a dead horse. So I know the truth. They need to know the truth. So what's the point in talking to this person? So either you're doing this or they're doing that, especially when you're looking at your own worth and value. I mean, I see it too. You're the empress. This is what legacies are made out of. Trying to bring something into this world. Uh, others of you, you are. You're trying to bring something into this world and you're not saying anything. You're keeping it to yourself. You're keeping quiet, whether this is your own company, your own business, or you're having a child. You're keeping it on the low. 
um, and you're just waiting for something. You're waiting for your ships to come in or you're waiting for some kind of result. Um, you're waiting. So whatever it is that you're doing, you're keeping it quiet. Those of you where this doesn't make sense, it's because it's in the future position. All right. So this is what you're going to be dealing with soon enough. Uh, look at some of you are you're saving money for a certain situation that you're working on and you're keeping quiet. You're keeping it yourself. If this is work related or project related, if this is love related. Again, you're trying to bring something into this world and you're waiting for the results to come in. Um, but you're holding on to something energetically. What's the advice here? I'm going to recap and then we're going to clarify. The world and the Knight of Swords. All right, so here's your advice. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new chapter in your life. Okay, and you need to effectively communicate that here with the Knight of Swords. So it's either saying someone is going to give you some information, whether this is a lawyer telling you, here it is, finite details, whether this is a job, whether this is a love interest, they could be rushing in to give you some kind of communication. And Spirit's like, this is it. This, you hearing this should be enough for you, Taurus, to start a new chapter in your life. This is the dunzo period for you. On the flip, it could be asking you to communicate something here um, to effectively start a new chapter in your life. You, no matter what, it's happening to you because it's a major arcana and it's falling in your advice position. So Spirit's like, listen, you are going to have a new chapter in your world. You are going to move on, um, but you might need to effectively communicate something here with someone. All right. And some of you, it's because you are the third party or there is a third party mistress in your situation or third party interference. Now, outcome for the week, please, for Taurus. All right. So for all intents and purposes, some of you guys feel like odd man out uh, in your dynamic or your situation. You feel as if you're going to be left out in the cold. OK. Um, and you're going to be put in a stuck position. The interesting thing about this, though, because I, I see them that they're separated here. Whatever happens here, this is why you have a new chapter coming in. You, this is to reset you. This is to reset and reboot your computer, your life, your system. All right. You're having a reboot. Uh, this is why you have temperance. It's recentering yourself, recalibrating your inner self. It's bringing you back to square one over here. It's because you're feeling stuck by being left out in the cold, whether this is financially or personally by a person or a situation. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, this happening to you is why you're having a reset. Now, let's go ahead. Yeah, and the overall theme is probably going to be your four of pentacles. Holding on to something or someone or money. Yeah, it's, it's so funny. I feel like sometimes you guys are living on some sort of merry-go-round situation. It's like up and down, up and down. Here we go again, getting off the merry-go-round, going back on the merry-go-round. You know why we get back on the merry-go-round? Because somebody texts you or acknowledges you or, you know, gets uh, calls you or texts you and you feel this vindication and validation and then you feel wish fulfillment. But then there you are again, single, uh, feeling all these kinds of emotions and you know you're getting the truth you are and then with the truth you're doing your due diligence you're doing your part you're being slow methodical seeing how something pans out um and then this happens to you this like merry-go-round up and down we go again and off the ride we get we go uh i say this because of the four of pentacles you like sitting here or sitting on that chest which has your memories, which has your money, which has your stuff, which has your valuables, the things that you hold dear to you. It is the overall theme of the week. So let's see why this is happening to you, Taurus. Because in your situation, some of you are just casually dating and having fun. It's not too serious because someone here is just, you know, 
making you beg for attention. You know, and it's probably because they're emotionally guarded. Others of you, it is because this is a third party situation. You are getting breadcrumbed because someone is too scared to open up. Now, let's put that back. What is coming towards you? This is the recap and we will clarify. There is a reminiscing of the past with somebody, but you're not doing it alone. Someone else is reminiscing with you. It's this person. Okay. And this is why we're having this merry-go-round. What you don't see coming is, you know, you're, you're something, you're doing something quietly and privately, and you're bringing something into this world and you're waiting for those results to come. This could have something to do with this person or not at all. This just happens to be part of your weekly read. Um, so it can be something different from what this other situation is. Now, your advice, the world and the Knight of Swords, effectively communicating something in order for you to start this new chapter in your life, because it's coming no matter what, okay? And your outcome is a reset, a reboot, but you're also feeling stuck at the same token from being left out in the cold. This is holding you back, whatever this is. All right, so let's go ahead and start clarifying all this stuff and see what's going on for you, Taurus. It's so weird. I feel like this week I can connect with Taurus and I can connect with Gemini. But it's Somebody said it in my comments. Uh, when I go on vacation, I connect well. Um, you're right. I do. It's so true. Uh, getting, I got my own reboot, my refresh. So when I do that, I could see things a little bit more objectively and clearly and unbiased. Now, let's see what's going on. Why is this here, please, with this Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles? Page of Cups. Um, Four of Cups. You're dealing with a runner-chaser dynamic. It's like you leave, they chase you. Then you chase them, then they leave. Or this roundabout friggin' situation. And it's the Four of Cups. And this is what's challenging you or the person. So this whole entire scenario, why it's flaky at best, uh, like I said, because somebody's emotionally guarded, uh, very vulnerable, and this is why you're having this runner chaser situation, okay? This is why somebody is not uh, connecting or bonding. Yeah, they're keeping it at an immature level, page of cups, because they know that there's something there with you, Taurus. They know this. Uh, but it's like one of the two of you is struggling to open up. And it's so funny because this seems to be the only hiccup here. Now, what is this King of Wands and this Eight of Wands and the Six of Cups? I love me some justice. Here's your karma. Karmic justice is coming in for you guys. What's the other card? Page of Swords, lovely. All right, so. And the Chariot. Guys, those of you that are dealing with a third party situation or you are dealing with this fire sign individual, uh, this person does come back to vindicate you and validate you because they've been peeping you this whole entire time, Page of Swords, they've been stalking you, all right? And so they come back to vindicate and validate you. Um, and this is why you're having this communication or this action between the two of you with this eight of wands. You see all these wands flying around in the air? That's you and the other person talking. Here's the other person, the king of wands, the person that you're attracted to. Um, and you might be reminiscing over the past, but that's because this person has been stalking you this whole entire time. All right? And this is why you're getting justice from them. Others of you, this could be talking about some sort of uh, legal proceedings, dealing with this person, and you're trying to amicably like uh, resolve this. And you're moving forward. I'm sorry, I'm being general like that. It's just a large audience. It's thousands of you. <laughs> it's not a private reading. Um, continuing. Let's see what you're doing here on the down low or you're keeping quiet from somebody. Why is the High Priestess here with the Empress and the Three of Wands? You're mainly quiet because you're waiting to see something. Yeah, that's definitely you, look at you, you're right here. 
Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. You're stable. You're mama bear, you're papa bear. You are the nurturer, the giver, the lover, the one that takes care of everybody. This is why you're waiting for your results. Um, lovers. Yeah, lovers is a freaking choice. They're not your boyfriend or your girlfriend. They're not your husband or your wife. They're not even your business partner yet. They're just somebody you are profoundly connected to. Uh, and Ten of Wands. And this lover has burdened you. It has added to your plate. So you are waiting for some sort of result to come in for you. All right? Let's see. Let's continue. The advice. Why is the advice the world and the Knight of Swords, please? The Knight of Wands. That's because you are dealing with something that's flaky. You are dealing with energy that's in and out. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here could be married or wants marriage or a commitment. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Somebody is either stepping out of their marriage with the Knight of Wands. with the Here's the marriage card and here is the home. Uh, others of you are having an affair. Someone's having an affair. And Spirit's like, you're about to start a new chapter. So what are you going to do? You need to effectively communicate here. It's clear as day to me. Those of you not in a commitment or a marriage or having an affair of any kind, you're starting a new chapter and you're effectively trying to communicate here with someone that this is what you wish for. You wish for stability. You wish for commitment. You wish for marriage. But it's flaky. It's neither here nor there. So it is about communicating that for, for you. Okay? Because you're not all the same age. You're not all dating the same people. I get that. So that's the advice. To communicate this. It's happening, guys. You're having a new chapter. I don't know in which direction. But here is, is basically advice for all of you. You need to effectively communicate because you're moving on from your situation. You're definitely dealing with a lover, that's for sure. Even if you're no one's married or anything like that, it's not connection. It's not connected. It's just flaky. Two nights. I am positive that this is the storyline. But here's what's coming down the pike: the Ace of Pentacles. This is why you have a recentering, a recalibration, a reboot. Please clarify all of this outcome. In the extended, you have to be a member. The link is down below. We go into your person, how they feel about you, uh, the actions that they will take towards you, their intentions towards you, what spirit has for you, what twin oracle card has to say about you guys or you in person, personally. Uh, and then we go from Aries to Pisces because you're not all dating the same signs. Queen of Cups. I feel like this is the other person. And judgment. Crossing. So this is definitely talking about love. It's talking about emotions. Somebody is getting kicked out. All right. Somebody from this dynamic will be chucked out. All right. And this is kind of what's keeping you stuck. But at the end of the day, you know a decision needs to be made. Of, like a final decision because you are trying to recenter yourself recalibrate yourself can i have one more spirit just for the hangman and the five of pentacles so i know exactly what taurus is dealing with all right so basically they're saying don't get stuck in your head over this all right because these are two cards of being stuck, the Eight of Swords and the Hangman. Don't put your brain here because that's what you are going to be doing anyway. You're going to be stuck in the situation like, but I'm odd man out. I'm the one that's left out. And you're going to be stuck there and you don't want to be. This is why you're, you're having a final judgment call on your emotions and your feelings towards this situation. Something new is definitely coming in. Something solid, Ace of Pentacles. And this is kind of like where you need your focus to be. Tell me more about Temperance. Because Temperance for me is good. The other two, not so good. 
So you have a combination of what's happening to you here at the end of the week. Yeah, the sun and the two of wands. It's like, you know what's funny, Taurus? It's like no matter what decision you make here, you're not really going to be left with an empty bag. Uh, it doesn't feel that way to me. It feels like you're ready to move on. You're ready to go down that new path. But when you do, look what's going to happen to you. The sun, the happiest card in the deck. It's the one emotion every human being strives to achieve and feel happiness eight of pentacles and you're going to be working towards that goal all right so romance angels what do you have for taurus by the way those of you uh in the extended we deep dive on this so we go into it because when we pop them here they're just general but in the extended we clarify it a little bit more taurus please let your friends and family help you sometimes you know, when we say love is blind, truly, we can't see things. You know, we'd like sometimes we have to step back and look at that perspective. So spiritually saying, sometimes you just got to let your friends help you. Because I do see you being quiet about something here with the, the um, high priestess. You're trying to figure out some shit alone, not saying anything. Um, and it is safe for you to love us back here, for sure. Because I think you're about to start something new here with someone. And it can be this lover, for sure. It's just a matter of you having this communication. Um, but maybe you're the one that's not talking. And Spirit's like, let your friends help you. And at the bottom of the deck, there's a love coming in. That's why I felt like the bag wasn't completely empty. Yeah. You have something new coming in. You just need to do that recentering, which you are with the temperance card. So don't do it alone. All right. Let's see what your friends can do for you in the extended or what else it could possibly mean. Who knows? Maybe you're a friend of yours says something and it just like a light bulb goes on. Who knows? Taurus, please. Advice for Taurus, please. What did you guys get? Say loyalty. I feel like you guys always get loyalty. Yeah, you did. Loyalty. Maybe that's why you got. Let your friends help you. Discerning who's loyal and who's not, right? You have chosen the symbol of loyalty, and this means you are being called to stand up for who or what you believe in. Do you know the story of the beautiful girl who saw the good in another and remained steadfast in her love against all odds? Loyalty is tested at times. And you may be asked to assess whether others deserve your loyalty. Sometimes you find yourself in a position where it's difficult to speak up for another person or a cause or even for yourself. Now is the time to be faithful to your best qualities and to leave the rest behind. This is a true test of character. I know you will choose rightly. Stand up for what you believe in and loyal only comes to the truest and goodest form for you. Now, I understand why you got let your friends help you. This was that message that I got downloaded intuitively um, when I was reading that. You know, when we're kids and we go to school, we're, we're not thinking about our futures. We're not thinking shit. We're just thinking of like, who's the kid we're going to play with in the playground, right? And we have this innate feature to find people that are like us. Um, who think like us, who feel like us, who behave like us, who have the same morals, who have the same values. And it becomes like something where this person knows you, truly knows you deep down inside. Now I get this card. Let your friends help you. You got a pack of people and a community that know you very, very well. So loyalty talks about who is that for you? And this love interest that you might have, do they respect you? Do they have loyalty for you? How, how do they perceive you? I think your friends could see that and can help you make that decision or that judgment call. Of course, it can be flipped. You know your life. Um, but this is the message I'm getting from that. We'll see a little bit more in the extended. But other than that, guys, I will see you next week. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for waiting for me. Um, I'll see you over the extended.